Hello, my name is Tracy Ragel, and I am a Wealth Management Administrator at Great Western Bank in Sioux Falls. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about the wealth management industry. Wealth management includes multiple financial services and relies heavily on client relationship management. So a wealth management professional will work very closely with their client, as well as other professionals like the, like the accountant or the attorney for the client in order to make sure all of the client's needs are being met. Wealth management includes things like financial planning, retirement planning, fiduciary services, and investment management. And this is all in addition to the client's day-to-day -day banking needs like checking and savings accounts. A financial plan is exactly how it sounds. It's a plan for your finances. So a financial planner is going to take a snapshot of what your financial picture looks like today and hopefully come up with a good plan of how to meet your future financial goals. One main goal for a financial plan is retirement. So a financial planner will help you make the right decisions along the way in order to retire when you want to and with as much money as you're going to need to retire comfortably. So a financial planner will take into account all of these things like your day-to-day -day banking needs, um, your debt as far as mortgage, vehicle loans, and things like that, and any income that you have from investments and hopefully come up with a very, plan a very good plan to meet your financial goals. And another important part to consider with a financial plan is it's ever-changing. So it's not something that you can do when you're 30 years old and expect to you, for your financial plan to hold up all through retirement without any adjustments. This is why we need to work very closely with our clients and our wealth management professionals together to make sure we're staying on track for our financial goals. Um, fiduciary services can be part of a person's financial plan. Fiduciary services can include trust and estates. An estate is an account that is um, managed by a wealth management professional after someone has died and directs the executor or personal representative to dispose of, distribute, or manage the funds based on the, the client's estate plan for their death. And a trust, on the other hand, can actually be something that a client can utilize during their lifetime. So you can fund a trust with assets and it has different tax implications as far as a trust versus an individual that might be appealing to clients. So a f what does it mean to a be a fiduciary? A fiduciary means that you push the client's needs above all else. Um, there are ve a very strict guidelines, laws, and regulations that govern fiduciary capacity in the wealth management industry to ensure that the client's needs will always take priority. Another very important aspect of wealth management is investment management, and some might argue this is the most important one. So investment management is how is your money working for you right now? So is it in a savings account? Is it in the stock market? How much is it earning you or how much is it costing you? So um, sometimes um, when you think about what money is earning you, it's pretty obvious. There's a rate of return on a savings account. There's a, a certain rate of return on a CD or a bond. Um, the stock market is not necessarily as reassuring as those types of products that have a set return rate. A stock market can go up and down and it can it could potentially earn you a lot of money, but it could potentially lose you a lot of money. So it all depends on the client's risk preferences and tolerances. This is where the client's relationship management comes into play again. We need to know our clients and we need to know what they're comfortable with. We don't wanna make them feel uncomfortable about losing money in hopes of gaining more or getting to their goals faster. So it, it all depends on how the client would like to manage their money. A wealth management professional is there to offer guidance and, and give advice, but not necessarily make the decisions for the client. So wealth management ties in to investment management and, and that plays in a very important role in fiduciary services 
retirement planning and financial planning because um, we rely on investment management to actually get to the goals we set up through the financial plan, the retirement plan, and with the use of fiduciary services. Wealth management is a very complex industry and that's why it is very important to work closely with your clients and wealth management professionals in order to understand the client's needs and desires, their risk tolerance, as well as their financial plan and their overall financial goals. I hope you've enjoyed a little snippet of about wealth management and I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to talk to you about wealth management.